Hello guys, and here again. So, today what we actually have is some sort of quiet content, how to tutorial. But what is the topic today is everyone's favorite special Stingray. So, Stingray, yeah, this is controversial special to say at least. But really, what this video will be about is to tell you a bit about okay, how, how I can you know manage Stingray because right, you can say like okay, it needs to be nerfed or whatever, it needs to be reworked, but in the end, you can't really choose choose it like it will happen or it won't happen but for now there's some stuff you can maybe do that it's gonna help you survive some more stingrays which might be improving your game since stingray is pretty popular at the moment but yeah like pretty common stingray map port mackerel you know probably like people do this many times if they have stingray on this so how do you actually survive this? Well, port is... Let's think about for a moment why port is so good for Stingray. So port is so flat. So that's obviously good for Stingray. But more so, it's quite... You know, it, it's not that wide, really. Like, I can almost shoot from one end to one end with the uh, spattling. And also, there isn't that many height differences. So all, all of those make it more hard for you to actually survive a Stingray. So I think in many cases for board, like, you know, you're gonna die to quite a few stingrays, like there isn't much avoiding that, like, of course, soon you will <laughs> learn some tips that might help you avoid that, but if, even for this I'm gonna take another map that's better demonstrating these concepts, because like the bottom line with board is that, well, you're just gonna die a lot, but, so there's a couple things you can do. First of all is, just embrace that you're gonna die some, run some quick respawn, like quick respawn is strong. If you showed range, you probably should be running quick respawn and Stingray is indeed one of the reasons why uh, quick respawn is strong because you know if you get killed like that halfway across the map then it's very likely that you didn't already get a kill so you get the quick respawn effect at least and you can go back a bit faster. But may maybe the biggest concept of this video is think about how Stingray works like it's a straight line from the base that goes across the map, right? And it has an angle to it. So think about where they have the best angle. It's very near you are in the middle of the map, or if you are in your own base, that's when the Stingray has the best angle on you. So instead, like, if you get control and okay, they're probably gonna Stingray soon. Like, this ties to the one video I made about Splat Zones, how you need to push forward when you are having an advantage. But this is more so true for Stingray, like, think about the angle the Stingray user has on me right now. When I'm like, below the base, like, I'm pushing here, I'm making this area, okay, the Stingray goes off. But just think about what angle the Stingray actually has on you. Because the base is here, so if he wants to kill me with Stingray, the angle is horrible for the Stingray. So it's probably better shot for him that I go from a teammates that are probably in the middle of the map. But, yeah, like, whenever you expect Stingray to go off, just... You know, you should be pushing forward anyway, but especially when you expect Stingray to go off, you really should be going to the enemy base. That makes the angle much more hard for you to hit you. And I think if you take one one thing out of this video, then take this, because it's so big, and I don't think many people really realize that. And it really, like, helps you survive a lot more. And even if you don't survive, like, if I'm here, okay, the Stingray goes off, they like, okay, time to push. So... Time to push, they drop down, but you hear the wedding, you pop them off, and maybe they kill with Stingray, but at least you trade, it's not so bad. But really, really push forward, it's so important. Another thing that I see more people doing now, which I think is pretty cool, is just different ways of utilizing Super Champs. Okay, here I have Beacon, but it's worked for team as well. Okay, the Stingray is coming off, oh, it's not aiming at me, that's not so good. Well, just, you know, if you Super Champ to another player, it's wasting quite a quite a like, couple seconds of the Stingray. And uh, this also, of course, like in extreme situations, might be best to jump back to spawn, but most of them not. But I, I think like jumping to your teammate is something that can lead with quick super jump, maybe stealth jump as well, to make it a bit safer. It's actually a really powerful thing to do in order to avoid dying to Stingray. 
And I saw this mostly watching Japanese players, but I think Western players should be doing it more as well. Like, okay, we have mid control. Let's have Beacon represent my teammate. I, we have mid control, but well, if the singer is changing me to corner, maybe I should just jump my teammate, right? And then I'm on a better position, and I also I waste some time of the stinger. So, so, so it's like a super jumping like this is actually quite powerful. But yeah, I think one more thing to keep in mind with Stingray is that of course in Splatoon 2 you see what specials they have ready at any given time, so not every Stingray user goes to their spawn to use it. So this like Pokefan style, yeah it's pretty common still, but I think most people don't do it every time. So I remember one scream especially where I the guy always used to Stingray from here. And for me, okay, I see when he has Stingray ready, so even when I'm here, okay, he has Stingray ready now. So it's probably push forward. It's not so long distance for me to get here and kill the Stingray guy. So always keep in mind that uh, you can see when they have special ready, and when they do, then maybe it's a chance for you to get in and uh, get a kill on them. But yeah, I, I think, like, I, this is one more time emphasizing, like, the biggest thing to take from this video is that if they have Stingray, think about the ankle. Plus the spawn is good. Stingray is better the like the longer the distance is, so it's kind of like weird special like that. So you should be trying to be as close to the Stingray user as possible. And uh, aside from that, be smart with super jumps, be smart with quick respawn, be smart with rushing down the Stingray user when it looks like you have a good opportunity to do so. And you know, I think you'll manage. It's just like. Any special, like, okay, well, it's in the game. There's some stuff you can do to mitigate the effect of it. And, yeah, I think if you do these things, then already you're doing better than 99% of players. And, you know, just maybe it's gonna save you some time in solo or scrims or whatever. But, yeah, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Otherwise, thanks for watching and see you next time.